while I'm asking that, there, there's specific injuries for me um, that, that plague all of us. And as an ex-professional polo player, I mean, I ended up with broken riding muscles that I had to put a belt or create a belt to hold them. And, and uh, you know, it, it was just a whole series of, of these riding muscles going again and again and again. And also the, um, what's the name, the uh, tennis elbow. And that can be from bad technique, okay, as well, from holding the mallet incorrectly, that old hammer grip, whatever, and your, your mallet starts to really work on you. But are there specific exercises one can do and stretches that can, because those to me are the two most hampering things I see time and again, everybody arriving with a band around their arm, you know, and, and they've got a sore elbow. So yes. from a technique point of view, I can help them. But what about from an exercise point of view and that old riding muscle that just goes again and again? Yeah, that riding muscle is a big um, is a big problem. Um, and again, I think it just comes down to years of not warming up, not stretching, not engaging the muscles correctly and also things with the riding muscle it, the, the that area around the hips may not be the actual initial problem the problem could be from the back or an imbalance through the pelvis you know a misalignment of the pelvis so actually sometimes wow. people say oh you know my hip i've done my hip in and i'm like right well look at the rest of your biomechanics where are the imbalances you know look at your spine is it curving is you know are you walking slightly like this um and um so this could be a few of other things, but um, with regards to staying in that area, I just do lots of stretching, so lots of mobilizing. So, you know, the side lunge where you kind of dip down, bend one knee, keep the other leg straight, and that will just stretch it out. And again, we're mobilizing when we're warming up. So people always think, right, I've warmed up, I've stretched. Warming up is not stretching. Warming up is mobilizing because you're you're, you're warming up the muscles. You're getting those joints moving in and out. So you're not going to, you know, um, pull something because you're holding it cold. You're warming it up. Then as it warms up, you push it a little bit more, push a little bit more. And that's where you get that increased movement around the joints. Um, so you want to do lots of movement. As well, in your arms as well. As, yeah, as yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know, even just doing this, um, uh, you stretch out the fingers, you stretch out the wrist, you can do, um, you can grab um, like a towel and you can do uh, things like these twists just warming up the hand muscles, the wrists, the forearms, um, because things like the tennis elbow, you know, it's more like um, you've strained your, your tendons. So, you know, that could be because they're slightly weak or it could just be that they're, you know, like you said, repressive uh, strain injury or, you know, they're not holding the grip properly. So um, you can do small exercises as well to help strengthen things like that. And then to reduce inflammation, you need to uh, um, have the, uh, what's it called? Uh, well my client has one where you put it on and it's like an ultrasound and it kind of puts little vibrations deep in to the the area's attendance to reduce inflammation but the main thing with these unfortunately is no one wants to hear it is rest um you know so people keep playing keep playing keep playing and then it becomes unbearable and sometimes you just need to uh, rest look after it stretch mobilize strengthen and then when it's bulletproof when ready then you go back to playing but people will just keep going and going and going and going and that's where you know then it's kind of almost becomes irreversible um but going back to the the hip one just lots um i do slider workouts which are basically these like discs and you slide them across the ground or you can use towels and you kind of go in and out in a lateral lunge and that just engages you know the inner thigh muscles um from all different angles and that will just help strengthen the area um, but the main thing is lots of stretching, uh, sorry, lots of mobilizing before, lots of stretching after riding, and then you're just stabilizing and strengthening around the whole pelvis area. For you know, I think though, that from, from my point of view, just listening to you, uh, most of us polar players are like dinosaurs. We, we're living in, in, a, a, in a, we know nothing about this. You know, we're saying, oh, our riding muscle is sore, our lower back is sore. And you're saying, well, let's look at, I mean, it's stuff none of us know. And I think it's just so fantastic to have somebody like you that is so into all of the, you know, the reasons that these things are happening. And I think it's just going to be amazing for all the polo players out there if they will get out and utilize your expertise and get on your site and, and um, you know, really make use of all this incredible information. 
Um, but yeah, I, well, the thing is, I keep saying to people, it's you warm your horse up, you know, you look after your horses, like, you know, they're, they're babies, you know, you make sure they're eating the right food, they're, they're nicely warmed up, you know, make sure they have enough water and food afterwards, mm -hmm. you know, if they have any... Yes, but, but, but yeah, exactly, you don't look after yourself, you know, there's no stretching, I see people hop off, they get in the car, they drive two hours home, they sit down, you know, then they haven't eaten for the last two, three hours, and then everyone wonders why they become injured or, you know, they haven't got energy or, you know, it's, um, it's, um, it's, yeah. But I think, like you said, I think more important people are becoming a little bit more aware of uh, the fact that they do need to look after their bodies. And I'm getting more, and more questions actually from people asking, you know, how their training programs should differ between the season. Um, and, you know, that they, they're becoming, I think people are starting to become more aware of it.